Hello everyone, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I will be discussing the answer key of model question paper. So please consider the first question. So you can read the question. Let me directly move on to the particular answer key. The first question is about to explanation of KVL and KCL with the help of a suitable example. What you are supposed to do is you can state the Kirchhoff first law or Kirchhoff current law and you can mention with a suitable example. It, uh, you can uh, able to get two marks if you ma maintain uh, this particular answer. So by applying KCL you can able to calculate the unknown current I. So do mention in this fashion. Now verification of KVL. So before writing you have to state what is KVL. Okay, You can give the statement. Then consider the particular circuit. You can only write the write down the circuit diagram. So use the loop equation. So there are two loops you know. So loop 1 and loop 2 need to be considered. Okay. This is your loop 1. So we can call it as I1 and this must be I2. I2. So there are two loops. Definitely two equations will be there. So by using the equation I can able to get I1 and I2. Then our ultimate goal is to calculate what is the total current which is flowing through the branch 40 ohm. Okay, this particular branch. Clear? So, I1 and I2 you have to calculate. Before calculating, you have to frame what is I1 and what is the equation corresponding to first loop, equation corresponding to second loop like this, 1 and 2. You have to solve equation number 1 and 2 by using uh, any type of rule. For example, Cramer's loop rule can be used. Then you are able to get I1 and I2. Once you get the value of I1 and I2, you can able to calculate the current flowing through 40 ohm resistor. That is nothing but I1 plus I2. So this example is more than sufficient to get full marks. Is it okay? Now I will be discussing about the second part. You can go through the question once again. Please read the question number 1b. Prove that the circuit efficiency during maximum power transfer from source to load is only 50 percentage. How to answer? So you have to draw the circuit diagram like this. You have to mention R0 is the source resistance and RL is the load resistance. And by using the Ohm's law, P is equal to IL square into RL, you can able to write. So from this, you can able to get one equation. So apply maximum or minima theory, DP by DRL is equal to 0. Then I am able to get the value of IL is equal to E0 by 2RL. Then substitute at the first equation, then you will be getting the maximum power PM is equal to E0 square E naught square divided by 4 into RL. Afterwards, what you do is, you have to calculate what is the total amount of power is uh, transmit generated that you are supposed to calculate. So, P is equal to I naught I square into R naught plus I square into RL. I square is common. Then P S will be that is equal to 2 into I square into R naught. You already know that I is equal to E naught E naught divided by 2 RL. Substitute over there. Then I will be getting P S equal to 2 E naught square 2 2 E0 square by 4 R0. PS will be uh, after simplification E0 square divided by 2 RL. Call it as equation number 2. Our ultimate goal is to calculate what is the maximum amount, maximum efficiency of power transfer. That is equal to take the ratio of uh, 1 and 2. Then definitely I will be getting 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is nothing but 50 percentage. This is the answer uh, you, you are supposed to. So third question is related to AC fundamental. So you please write down the equation. So you can compare the main equation with the standard equation, okay, like this. Uh, then definitely you can able to uh, calculate omega. From omega you can get the value of frequency. Then afterwards while putting the value of T is equal to 160 microsecond, I am able to get the instantaneous value is equal to 0.0347 volt. Please do verify once. Question number 2 you are, it's related to RMS value. So you have to define what is RMS value and you have to do the derivative. You are supposed to follow up the RMS value, what is RMS value, definition, you may get 2 marks, then you have to prove uh, the what is VRMS, VRMS is equal to VM by root 2 and IRMS equal to IM by root 2, you will be getting 6 marks, this is the way how to answer, then 2B, uh, the, the circuit, you can, you can read the question and frame the circuit diagram, then your job will be very much simpler, draw this particular circuit first and mark all the current then unknown resistor, our ultimate goal is to calculate the unknown resistor like this. So use the equation P is equal to V square by R. V can be calculated as square root of PR. You will be getting 20.78. Then using the uh, Ohm's law, I1 is equal to V by R1. I2 is equal to V by R2. I2 is equal to V by R3 because it's a parallel circuit. I1, I2, I, I3. 
then total current is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 using the Kirchhoff law. Then you can able to calculate the VR. So VR means this uh, this is actually the VR. VR and V is available here. Total voltage is available by using the KVL. You can able to calculate VR. So VR will be 39.22 volt. Then applying Ohm's law, VR equal to I into R like this. VR is equal to I into R. I uh, so I will be computed here. So you can able to calculate the unknown resistor. Very simple question. Okay, you can score very very good marks here. Question number 2C also direct question. So you have to derive. So your derivation is required. Okay, P is equal to VI. Then you have to separate the value of instantaneous value of current and voltage. Multiply both. Apply the trigonometric relation. And then you have to take the interval. Consider full cycle. That, that is why we have written as 0 to 2 pi. If you do the integration, the total power for the complete cycle that is equal to 0 watt. That you are supposed to make out. Please refer question number 3. It is related to 2 watt meter method. Please read it. Now I will be showing you the answer key. First of all, you have to draw the circuit diagram of 2 watt meter method very clearly. So afterwards, what you are supposed to do is face a diagram. Then calculation of power P is equal to W1 plus W2. Calculation of power factor. All together, you can get 8 marks very easily. Okay. Then question number 3C, that is a direct question. It's an RL network. Then you are supposed to calculate a current power factor and power. So let us solve the refer question number 3C. Okay, 3, sorry, 3B. So let us solve 3B. Draw the circuit diagram like this. Mention all the parameters. Correct? Now use the recall the equation whichever you learned. You must you might have learned the equations. Please recall. I is equal to V by Z. First you calculate the uh, impedance. Uh, for calculating impedance, XL is required, L omega, XL equal to L omega, uh, omega means 2 pi f, then current you can calculate, V by Z, power factor will be R by Z, power is equal to V i cos pi, easily you will be getting 6 marks, that's all. 3C is a direct question, you have to derive the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage in star connection. First of all, you have to draw the circuit diagram of star connection, then define what is star connection. Afterwards, you have to draw the phasor diagram, then you have to derive VL is equal to root 3 V phase. Any method you can adopt, better you can go ahead with the parallelogram law of vector addition. So, altogether you will be getting 6 marks. So, this is the way how to answer it. Uh, you know, question number 4A, it is a direct question. You need to know the basics of RL series network. So, please read the question. So, you are supposed to draw the circuit diagram like this. Afterwards, what you can do is draw the phasor diagram. Then you can show the current, voltage and power using this particular waveforms. It will be very clear that voltage leads current at an angle of phi. Okay. So total power that is equal to VA cos phi. So derivation is required. You will be getting total 6 marks easily. So question number 4B. Let us have a discussion of question number 4B. Question is related to star connection. So you are supposed to calculate the parameters of the impedance. Impedance parameters means resistance and uh, reactance that you are supposed to calculate. Draw the circuit diagram like this. If possible, you try to mark all those things. What is the, this Z1, ZR, ZY, ZB like this. So, given data, you can write uh, from cos phi, phi can be calculated and also sin phi also can be computed. You know, in star connection, uh, phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. Uh, then IL will be equal to I phase. Then Z phase can be computed by using V phase by I phase. Then afterwards, uh, the uh, resistance will be Z cos phi and uh, reactance will be Z sin phi. So from this you compute the value of R and XL. From XL you can get the value of L. So this is the, actually the expected answer from your end. Question number 4C is purely based on the 2 watt meter method. Okay, you need to understand the 2 watt meter method, how to calculate the total power. First of all, please write the given data like this. Afterwards, what you can do is P can be computed by using W1 and W2, sum of W1 and W2. Afterwards, you can calculate the cos phi. Okay, so from uh, cos phi, after getting cos phi, then you can easily calculate the value of IL. IL need to be calculated. IL will be P divided by root 3 VL cos phi. IL will be 11.96. I request everyone to verify the answer once. Uh, till now, I have discussed up to question number 4. Remaining part will be discussed in the next session. I request everyone to practice again and again and uh, get the answer properly and uh, follow up the, uh, the tips whichever I explained in the previous video and uh, start continuing and uh, keep on working. 
एनीवे थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो